I'm James Kane, your host for New York, New Rock. Welcome to the premiere edition of our show. What we plan to do here on New York, New Rock is bring to you weekly a show that showcases some of the hottest unsigned rock and roll talents across the tri-state area. We'll get to talk to the bands and also they'll be performing for us right in our studio. Also on the show, we'll keep you informed on what's happening in and around our town with rock news. Now before we get started with the music, let's talk a little about New York, New Rock. I have a list here of just some of the areas that New York New Rock is involved in. Now check this out. Live sounds and lights, DJs and MCs, rock seminars, sponsorship, education, merchandising, market research, publicity, artist development, management, club and concert promotion, distribution, booking agencies, record promo production, record promotion, record deals, radio shows, video production, and now a TV show. Quite an impressive list. Now let's bring out the man behind the list, Wolfgang Bush, the founder of New York New Rock. Wolfgang. How are you? Hi, James. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Now, I'm looking here at this list. Am I safe in saying that if I had a band and I contacted New York New Rock, you could actually help me promote my talent, develop my talent, publicize me, and actually book me into clubs? <laughs> now, I see also that you're doing booking with the Hot Rod Club. Uh, what's going on with this, with this Hot Rod Club? I hear a lot about this. Uh, yeah, it took me about a year and a half to find a room to uh, showcase the local bands. Um, it's a beautiful, outrageous room where the bands are really... Um, how am I going to put this? Uh, they have a great stage, it complements them, and um, the VIP room is really a, a getaway from the live sound in case the industry people they want to um, move away and have a little more quiet room so we provide all of that and uh, we would like you to come down and take a look at the room and at the atmosphere it is uh, quite impressive and the uh, club is located on 11th Avenue and uh, 27th Street if I have a band and I was to contact you at New York, New Rock, is there a chance that I could get booked in the Hot Rod Club? Sure. Uh, right now I'm out again, going to all the clubs. Uh, bands heard about it already. They're calling me up and I come down to uh, see them perform. And I know tonight, the band playing tonight, at Atomic Clock, is worked with New York, New Rock, and they'll be doing something at the Hot Rod Club? Uh, yeah, I have them actually back. They performed uh, at Hot Rod in January, and uh, it's a new band formed, um, and I have them back uh, March 2nd. And um, so uh, it's, uh, the band has a lot of potential, and they will be headlining the evening and uh, we'll have Atomic Clock coming in a little while. Okay, well, let's get right to the music then. How would you like to introduce Atomic Clock? Well, I wish uh, they uh, can introduce themselves with their music to uh, our audience, and uh, here's uh, Atomic Clock. Okay. We are quiet enough for 
at Tommy Clock. Just got off stage, finished some two hot new songs. Uh, let's let them all introduce themselves and see where they're from. Start with the lead guitarist here. I'm James Maz Maslin from New York City. All right, James. James Donald James from Nevada. From Nevada. Yeah. Living in New York now, Tommy? Yeah. All right. Little Donnie James. Uh, Richie Termini, I'm from New York. Program. From New York, mm -hmm. born, raised, the whole yeah, thing? Here in California. Okay. It's a mix and match. Mix and match. Bass play? Michael Branson from Chicago. All right. Nice mix here to see. And I'm Tommy Magyar from New York City also. All right, Tommy. How long have you guys uh, been together? About a year. Mm -hmm. About a year. I hope everything's going pretty well for you, right? Uh, yeah, things going wonderful. Uh, very good, actually. Very yeah. fast. Yeah. Fast. I know uh, now I hear something about a uh, song that you guys, somebody wrote for The Fix. Why don't you tell me something about that, Rich? Yeah, uh, Cy Kernan and I wrote a song uh, that we do and The Fix do, and The Fix are doing it on their new album, so that's really exciting. Wow. That song called Make No Plans, and uh, they just uh, recorded it, and that should be out soon. Yeah, and are you also the fellow who wrote something, uh, uh, doing something with Cindy Lauper? Uh, Cindy Lauper and I go back, like, 1982. I played on Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, She Bop, and all that stuff, synthesizers primarily. <laughs> And uh, that was exciting. Patty Smythe, a few other things. But I'm not a session uh, musician. Not a session. When they want rock, <laughs> when they want rock chops, <laughs> they, they call me. They call you guys. Yeah, we're definitely like a, 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 a total band thing. Yeah. Mothers, nothing, nothing corporate going on behind our bands. And you guys, no problem with uh, the, uh, James doing all this stuff, huh? Richie, rather, right? That's right. Get the names right. Get the names right. <laughs> no problem. You're all still together, and you all want to make it together as a whole, though, basically. Oh, absolutely. Right? No, we're, we're definitely... Whole or whatever we can do. We're definitely a band. I mean, the band contributes as a band. It's mm -hmm. totally a band. And what's yeah. happening with uh, CBS? I hear there's some kind of demo deal, and I'm not too familiar what you they call a demo deal. You want to feel that one, Don? Okay. Donald? Well, uh, they gave us some bread to go into BTE, which is the Fix's studio. Oh, there they are again. Oh. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so we just did six songs, and yeah. the four of them you'll be hearing tonight. Okay, and these uh, looking to get an album, are they going to help you, you know, promote an album perhaps? Or? Well, that could happen, that could sure. Happen through this sure, year? but it was, uh, uh, whether it's with them or another label, whatever, hopefully we'll be with CBS because yeah. we have a good relationship with them. But it's just always nice when someone else helps you pay to uh, record finished stuff, oh, yeah. you know, so. Okay. How did you guys uh, hook up with New York New Rock and Wolfgang? That's good. Oh, that's Donnie, oh, I guess, too. Yeah, Wolfgang, well, we, I've known Wolfgang for about three years and just about, about a year ago I started, you know, getting to know him and uh, seeing what he does and so he gave us a call to come on down and be on the show he's doing a lot of good things he though. is yeah, right we, we did, did, did happening. we did a, a a hot rod gig with uh, with him at uh, you know the new york new rock thing and, uh, yeah and you have uh, thing in March also. a hot rod gig coming up what, yeah. what is that date why don't you do those dates so? i believe it's it's march 2nd right yeah. correct right. 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 Yes. that man is star definitely <laughs> now uh we're gonna do some news but when we come back i know you got two more songs to play and yeah. i know there's something kind of special about one of those songs i was talking oh yeah 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 with richie before yeah one of the songs uh, is called off the tracks and we did something kind of strange to the vocals Don has several distortion devices running through his microphone output, actually. So uh, it's not your television, folks. It's not your <laughs> record player. Not it's not we, we did it on purpose. Uh, the, the vocals are totally fried through that song. So don't touch your dial. Don't That's worry right. about it. TV Everything is together. Don't break your TV. <laughs> okay, listen, since it's our first show, we're going to do a little news. Uh, why don't you help me and introduce uh, New York New Rock News. So right. everybody just say, you ready for some rock news or what? Yeah. Rock news. I'm back with the news. First of all, I'd like to thank Atomic Clock for giving our set a little color here today. And now for some news. Some big names hitting the New York City area are the Mick Ronson and Ian Hunter Band. They're back with a vengeance, with a real kick-ass show, so keep your eyes open for that. Also, Todd Rundgren's around town. Ace Freely's back. And one of my favorites, good friend of mine, Alice Cooper. Topping the charts last month in the album department, the B-52's Cosmic Thing and But Seriously by Phil Collins. In the top singles department, we have Michael Bolton standing strong on his own with How Am I Supposed to Live Without You? Great song. And some interesting news, especially for me, a couple of my old favorites had topped the two videos this month. Uh, Aris Smith's Janie's Got a Gun and Downtown Train by Rod Stewart. Good to see them both back on top. Also, keep your eyes open for Rob Wasserman's album, Trios, in which 
Um, Jerry Garcia and Edie Burkell play on a song called Zillionaire, so keep your eyes open for that. Um, turn into some more of this news closer to the home front. We have the Asashi broadcast team from Japan is back with Ryo Kawaski and Minoro to focus in on the New York rock scene. They are shaking on the history of the Ritz and the rock entrepreneur, our friend Wolfgang Busch. And of course, the Hot Rod Club has become rock friendly and offers the rock community an outrageous opportunity. The stage complements any bands, and the sound frequencies shake the room, done by the sound wizard himself, Brian, of Lightning Sound Company. And the VIP room is a dream come true. You get to watch program movies by the School of Visual Arts students while you sit in 50s and 60s cars. Let me tell you, a real cool room, set up like a drive-in. You really enjoy it. So why don't you give New York New Rock a call for complimentary admission on Friday nights. Okay, give us a call, talk to Wolfgang, get in there and check out the bands. Now let's get back to some live rock and roll with Atomic Clock. <laughs>
That's Atomic Clock. Now remember, they're at the Hot Rod Club. March 2nd, Friday night, right? Yeah, Got it. Friday. Everybody's all psyched. Be there. Don't be make there. Plans. No plans. Okay. And for all you bands listening out there, remember, if you want to get a gig at the Hot Rod, or perhaps even be the guest band on our show, give us a call at New York New Rock. We'll put that number up on the screen again. Give us a call. Don't wait. It's exciting. It's happening. Okay, everybody. So remember now, next week we'll be back here again. Until next week, this is James Cage saying... Yeah! So New York, New Rock! Rock and roll! He is no reaction. Dealers, they can't wait. Strangers walk. Strangers talk. This is where reaction starts. West side. East side. This is where we are now, Christ. Take you down below. Let me take you to the underground. That is a changing world. Let me take you to the underground. That is a ready world. Let me take you to the underground. It's an amazing place.
Welcome to New York New Rock, the show that showcases some of the hottest rock and roll